Hey y'all, ready for another DIY flower headband? It's so easy, you're only gonna need like six things. All right, ready, let's go. First thing you're gonna need is glue sticks and your face that can work on fabric. You're gonna need some scissors. These are just some breast cancer fabric scissors that I had. And you're gonna need a hot glue gun. Mine, of course, is pink. And then you're gonna need a headband that's gonna match your flowers, or you can just do black or gray or whatever. Then you're gonna need some felt, and I just have black felt laying around. And then of course you're gonna need flowers. These are the ones I picked. I said I do, don't they look like a bridal flowers? So excited. All right, let's get serious. So in my bunch of flowers, there's four small ones and then there's four big ones. I of course took the four big ones and I'm gonna show you in just a second how you cut them off. So here I'm just showing you how I cut. I'm just cutting really close to the actual green thing that's on the back because you want it to be flat like that. So now what you could do is you could pull it off, but look, when you pull it off, that stem is still there, and you're going to end up having to cut it off anyway because you want it to look like the flower on the left. So you might as well just cut it off. Then you're going to take off that little plastic part because the glue's not going to adhese. Is that one? I don't know. It's not going to stick to this little plastic thing as good as it is this fabric. You want to make sure you get the glue in there really good too, but we'll talk about that in a second. So what you want to do is you want to find the center point of this. So you can put two pins on one side and two pins on the other side. Basically, I put the two pieces together because I want it to be really symmetrical. But this is totally, it's not even that relevant. You don't really have to do this. And I couldn't find my like my pins like my, that you sew with, so I had to use these. And it took forever, but like I said, it's not a necessary step. But I just wanted mine to be super symmetrical. So... I did it but you're gonna just take it and then you're gonna fold it in half and then you're gonna find you know two points that you think are good enough apart like this and you're gonna use that as your guide to glue on the belt and I just took the belt and I just put them in little squares but you could do ovals or whatever you want to do the first thing you're gonna do is take the glue I put some glue on the flower first and I made sure it set seat through so that it got all the layers of the flower so that the flare flower didn't fall off since the plastic piece isn't there anymore. So then you glue the pieces together and you want to make sure before the glue dries that you pull this really tight so that you know it gets a good stretch so when you put it on your head it's not going to give you like a super headache because you never stretched it. So you just want to make sure you do that and then you'll be done. Just do that how many ever times you want to put it on there, how many ever flowers you want to put on there and then that's it. It's so easy. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Did you guys like my DIY? This one was a whole lot easier than my other DIY flower headband. If you want to see that video, the link will be somewhere. Or it'll just be in the description box. Um, the other one, it, uh, I thought I had it but I don't. Um, the other one I actually sewed, so this one I glued because I wanted to, you know, you know, give you guys a different variety or whatever you wanted to do, like whatever your method, your favorite method is, do that. But I like this one. I especially love the flowers on this one. I've really been wanting like just a pink one. I think I'm gonna make another one, maybe a black one. I'm probably gonna do it a little different than I did this one. And if I do decide to do it, I will, you know. Yeah, I am going to do another one, but I'm going to do it a little different. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe and share this with your friends. Put on your Pinterest. Pinterest is fun. You can find me on Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, everything at Ladyshea, and that is L-A-I-D-E-S-S-H-A-Y. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in my next video whenever that will be. Hopefully it'll be next weekend. Next week. It will be next week. So, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys leave me a comment below. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think.